Good day and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw the solution of the above mechanism loci problem. So the question says the figure. The question says in the figure, the crank AB rotates clockwise about A, and the crank CD rotates anticlockwise about C. The crank are joined by the link. PDF plot a scale of 1 mm to 1 cm the loci of point E and F for one revolution of AB. AB and CD are 45 cm, BD is 120 cm, and BE and DF are 30 cm. So we we'll start the question by drawing. The horizontal line, that is the horizontal center line. So, after drawing the horizontal line, I will draw a vertical line passing through it, that is a vertical line to intersect the horizontal line. So next, I will mark a point 120 mm from this point. This is because from the diagram, it is indicated that way. So in the diagram, it is indicated 120 cm, but we are using millimeter. This is because from the question, they said scale 1 mm to 1 cm. So I will mark 120 mm from this line here. So after marking the point, I will draw a vertical line there. So I will label this point here. I will label the point A. And I will also label this point here. I will label it C. So next, I will adjust my compass to 45 millimeter. Then I will draw cycles on point A and point C. This is because the question says AB is 45 cm and CD is also 45 cm. So I will adjust my compass to 45 cm now. That is, I'm adjusting the compass to 45 mm. Then I will draw my cycle. So now we have our cycles. Next, I will mark a point on the cycle I draw on point A. So I will mark a point using my 60 degree set square this way. So the point I mark, I will call that point B. So next, I will draw a line joining point A and point B. This line should be bold. After that, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 120 mm. This is because from the question, the question says BD is 120 cm. Remember, we are using millimeter because of the scale given to us. So I'm adjusting my compass to 120 millimeter. Then I will place the compass on point P. That is point B. So I will needle on point B. Then I will cut an arc on the cycle I draw. That is the second cycle, this cycle here. So the point where the arc cut through the cycle, I will label the point B. Now I will label the point D. That is our point D. So next, I will draw a line from point B passing through point D. So, so when the line just passed through point D, I will stop drawing the line at 30 millimeter interval. This is because from the question, the question says, so the question says DF is 
30 centimeter so df is 30 centimeter from the equation so i will draw the line now so the distance between point d and the end of my line is 30 millimeter so i will call that point f so that is our point f So next, I will adjust my compass to 30 millimeter. This is because from the question, so the question says BE is 30 millimeter. That is from the question, B is 30 centimeter. Remember, we are using scale, so we are using 30 millimeter normally. So I will adjust my compass to 30 millimeter. Then I will place my compass on point B. That is, I will needle on point E. That is this point. Then I will cut an arc. The point where the arc cut through my line BD, I will label that point E. So that is our point E. So now from the question, it is indicated that the rotation of this cycle here is this way. So it is, it is indicated that the rotation is this way. That is clockwise. So we indicate it. So the, the rotation of our point D is this way according to the question. So we, indi we also indicate it. So the next thing to do is to divide this cycle into 12 equal parts. So I will do so using my 60 degree set square. So I will support the set square with my ruler. So after dividing the cycle into 12 equal parts, the next thing is to number the cycle. So I will number the cycle with B series. So that is B1. I will start from here. This place will be called B1. Here B2. B3 here. So and so on. So after numbering the points, that is from B1 down to B11. Next, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 120 millimeter. So our BD, remember, is 120 millimeter. So I can take the radius of 120 millimeter. Then I will place my compass on point B1. That's I will needle on B1. Then I will cut an arc on the second cycle. That is, the arc should intersect the circumference. So I will label that point. I will label the point T1 on point B2. Then I will cut arc on my cycle. So I will label the point. I will label the point. So next is point B3. So I will call the point B3. So I will continue that way till point B11.
So after marking the points, I will draw lines from the B points passing through the D points. The length of the lines should be 150 millimeter. So I will start with B1. So the line should be thin continuous line. So I'm using fence lines. So the points where the lines end are our F points. So I will label the points F1, F2, and so on. So the line I draw from points B1, so I will label the end of the line F1. The one from B2, I will label it F2. We are supposed to draw a line from point C to point D. So the line should be bold. So next, we will adjust our compass to 30 millimeter. This is because the question says BE is 30 millimeter. So we can just take measurement from our BE. So after that, we place our compass on point B, that is the B point, B1, B2, cutting axe on lines drawn from them. So I will needle on point B1 first, then I will cut an arc. The point where the arc cut through the line drawn from point B1, I will label that point, I will number the points E1. So I will needle on point B2. Then I will also cut arc on the line drawn from there. So I will number the points E2. So next is E3. So I will continue in that manner to point B11. Next is to draw the curves, that is the loci. I will start with the curve passing through the E points.
so I'm done with the curve. I will just add the dimension below. We are done with this video. Your colleagues will appreciate you if you share this video with them.